If you have a Dell T3600, you may see a screen that appears like this. And what this means is that the Windows installation is unable to see the hard drive. So if you are on step 12 on the pre-installation setup questions or setup tasks for Windows and you found you have no hard drives listed here, this means Windows installation was unable to see your hard drives. The reason is because there is a controller between your hard drives and the motherboard requiring a driver. Recall a driver tells Windows what a device is. Windows will guess, but it can't guess correctly on everything. So before we install Windows, we need a controller driver. On a, another computer, so this doesn't have to be the one that you're formatting obviously, we're going to need to open a web browser and navigate to this link here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this and choose open in a new tab. So up here at the top it will open in a new tab so I won't lose my original page and then I need to download this driver here so I'm going to down, I'm going to just scroll down this page and see what all of my options are right here where it says available format it looks like it is an exe file and I'm going to click on the download link so I'm choosing download and I'm going to save this into my file management which is on my D drive remember my D drive was my backup drive I'm going to be looking for drivers and it goes in before the operating system is installed so I'm going to have another folder that starts with 00, zero underscore and I'm just going to call this um, hard drive controller. It's not really a hard drive controller it's a controller it's a controller that connects your hard drive to the motherboard. So in other words you have your hard drive which is connected to this controller which is connected to the motherboard. So it's this controller that Windows does not have a driver for. So remember Windows is taking its best guess. So it's guessing incorrectly and this is why it's unable to see your hard drives. So I'll double click on that and then I'll go ahead and click the save button. And it's not a very large file so it's already saved there. And then once it's saved there I'm going to click on this little arrow next to it and choose show in folder and that way I can locate. So one thing that I will need for this is a USB thumb drive so I'll need yet another USB thumb drive and this doesn't need to be a really large thumb drive but you do want to make sure that you don't have any important data on it because it'll likely reformat it. So I'm going to use this one here it's called ESRIJ and it looks like I do have some stuff on here so I'll need to back this up so what I'll do is I'll just grab all of this and do a copy and I'll likely back it up to my backup drive for now so I'll put it on my D drive here and I'll just call it thumb drive because when I'm done I'll put the files back there we go so I don't want a chance losing any data so I just quickly backed up my thumb drive so I'm gonna go back to where I downloaded this hard drive controller let me just make this window a little bit smaller so I'm not having to skip across a bunch of windows so this is my thumb drive right here let me make this small too So this is my thumb drive. I've backed up these files and over here on the left side this is that hard drive controller that I downloaded. I think this window may be just slightly bigger so we can see where, where it actually came from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this file and then you'll get prompted for user account control. Go ahead and click yes to that and you'll see something that looks like this. This window will open. So at this window I'm going to go ahead and click continue and then it's asking me where I want to unzip the files to. So I want this to go to my thumb drive so I'm going to click this button here on the right side that has the three dots. I'm going to click on that 
And then if you recall, my thumb drive was labeled ESRIJ, so I'm just going to click on the thumb drive and just click OK. And then I'll click OK again. And it should, we can see over here in the window behind, that it is extracting all of the drivers for that hard drive controller onto this thumb drive. So we're getting a little bit of everything it looks, Windows 832, Windows 864. So when we go to install this, we need to make sure that we choose the correct version and not accidentally install the 32-bit version. So I'll go ahead and close out of this, and then on the lower right-hand corner, there is a USB thumb drive icon. I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to eject my, um, my J drive here, which is that thumb drive. After I eject the thumb drive, then I will need to plug it into the computer where I am trying to install Windows. So I'm still at this window here. I've loaded my driver onto my thumb drive. So this is that thumb drive back here. And this is um, the computer. This computer here is the computer that I went out to the internet to download the driver. So I just ejected it. So I need to unplug it. And then I'm going to plug it into this machine up here. So I have just plugged it into my USB port up here towards the top. don't know if you can see that really well. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see that it's accessing the disk right now. So that I have kind of like four USB ports here in the front. The top two are open. That third one has the Windows 8 installation USB drive and the fourth one has the controller driver. So I have already plugged in my USB drive so I'm going to click on this load driver button and then this window will appear where it says load driver. I'm going to click browse and I'm going to look for my USB thumb drive and recall it was this one here and we are presented with several drivers. So there's several ways to find out if, it, if you're going to, if you know, which one of these is the correct driver. Um, the first way is obviously we are running a 64-bit operating system, so anything with 32-bit is not it. The other thing is we are running Windows 8, so the two drivers with Windows 8 is this one and this one. So what you would do at this point in time is trial and error. It will either work or it will not. So I already ran through a little trial and error before creating this video, so I happen to know that it's this bottom one down here, the second one, this one that says IA store S underscore Win864. So I'll go ahead and click OK to that. And then I'll click next here. And it's going to rescan all of the hardware again to see if it can find new devices with this driver. And there are my hard drives.